Not only does the Dominator resurrect a venerable and storied name, but it shows that this once mighty British race bike factory that started out in the late 19th century is still relevant here in the beginning of the 21st. You see, the company fell prey to the flood of cheap Japanese imports during the 60s and 70s, and even broke up and changed hands a few times in subsequent years. Honestly, there was a time when I really felt the same as I did about the original Indian motorcycle company. Once it closed down and changed hands the first time, it wasn't the same ever again. Well, the new Indian under Polaris made me eat those words once, so let us see if Norton does so again with its new, old race, street bike. What we have here is a fairly typical British cafe racer that has been stripped of all but the most essential components for a look so sparse you would swear it was just an engine with wheels and a seat added on as an afterthought. Of course, this is partly an optical trick aided by the clean delt area behind the engine that allows you to see through the bike, but the bike is rather spartan, which is as it should be. The upper lines move aft across the gentle curve of the deeply notched, or your knees fuel tank before the precipitous drop to the saddle and butt retaining scoop that s molded right into the tail fairing. No provisions are made for a two-up seat, and the truncated carbon fiber tail leaves the dominator looking a bit useless, but in the coolest possible way, 